I'm at a really unusual market in France. Yeah, this is called the Tanhe Market, and it's 5 p.m. and the place is pumping, and we've got fresh seafood. All the freshness you see here, if I poke one of these little things, they should close up. Now that's how you see the freshness of it. Now the reason why I'm here at 5 is in the morning they go diving, they're hand dived and they come back at around 4 p.m. and they come here and they pour it straight up. I'm going to choose the different varieties and just grill them up and see what they taste like. Hey, they look good. Just simply throw them on the grill. Few scallops, let's do those first. There you go. Got a variety of clams here as well. And on a few of these really unusual looking ones that I have no idea what they're called, but in Vietnamese they're called rice paper clams. Very interesting. Very thin, very crisp. Now all I have to do is put them on there and they'll open up as they cook and that's done. That's all I'm going to do. It's going to heat up the fire a little bit, turn it up high. Slowly starting to open now. They're almost ready. All right, that all opened up, so I'm really happy about that. All I'm going to do, I've got some salt and pepper, freshly squeezed lime. Now this is a very traditional Vietnamese sauce. Mix that up and all you need to do, now that's been cooking in its own juices, so that's wonderful. I'll take one of those, might be a little bit hot, oop, yep. Open that up. Dip that in there. Mm. Fresh, straight from the ocean. And this cost me 5,000 dong a kilo, which is 40 cents a kilo. Hand caught. Unbelievable. Now you don't see this every day. I was on the way to the rice paper factory and I had to stop the bus. Seeing a cow on the spit like this, nice crispy skin, the juice just running out of it, I'm gonna have to come back later. Now rice is a staple in the Vietnamese diet and it's used in so many different ways. Here I'm at a local home making handmade rice noodles. Now the rice is soaked for 48 hours and it's turned into this silky liquid batter. There you go. And it's put through this machine, this steaming machine. Now the rice is fueled by rice husks. Nothing is wasted in Vietnam. That's fueled there, goes through the machine here, steamed for no more than three minutes, comes out the end of the production line and this transparent, delicate sheet of rice noodle is produced cut in the other room, sheets fall down, into the bag, straight to the market, piping hot and so, so fresh. With rice paper, it's a very similar process. Thin layers of the batter is steamed on a stretched muslin cloth, then carefully lifted with great skill. It is transferred to bamboo mats taken to the family courtyard and is left to dry in the intense Vietnamese sun. Within an hour, the rice paper is dry. It is tied and bundled, ready for the local markets. This family works seven days a week and their method of making rice paper hasn't changed for hundreds of years. Now as soon as I could walk, my mother taught me how to roll a Vietnamese soft rice paper roll. They're very fresh, really colourful and very good for you. Now I'm using prawns here that are already cooked. Pork neck, so there's no fat on that, just from the pork there. Fresh vermicelli noodles, lettuce, and dipped in simple fish sauce. I'll start with the prawns. Just gonna peel a few of these. Just gonna peel the head off, then the tail, then the legs. And then I can just devein it with my fingers. Just pull that out like that. There you go. One more. Now you can make as many as you like. 
I'll just cut those in half. Where the sharp knife? There goes the prawn. You didn't see that, did you? And my cooked pork neck. I just brought water to the boil, a bit of salt, a bit of garlic, and just let it simmer there for around 15 minutes. I'm just going to cut my pork neck, really lean pork. A few slices of that, there you go. So now I'm ready to dunk my rice paper. Now back home, I would buy rice paper at the supermarket, packaged in plastic. But here, it's freshly sun-dried directly to me. Now these are really big. I've never worked with rice paper this big before. So I've cut my own size that I'm used to. And the owner, Unfook, said, you've got to wrap it in banana leaf. Keep it moist. We don't want to dry it out. So he's done exactly that. Smells so amazing here. So I've cut out my own little size, workable size. Just need to dunk that into water. Just lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold either. Dunk that slightly. Now I've just ripped this straight from those bamboo mats. So, so fresh. So delicate. Now with rice paper, there's a smooth side and there's a rough side. I always put the smooth side down first and the rough side up. Just a little trick there. Okay, so I've cut my two prawns, put those two little on first, in the middle. Beautiful colour, that's what you're going to see first. Followed by the perilla leaf. Now the perilla leaf is a really aromatic mint very colourful. I'm going to put that over the prawns. So you'll see the prawns and then you see the leaf. Followed by mint. This is just your fresh mint that you get. Continental mint or round mint. Lettuce. Rips them up. Don't overdo it on the vermicelli. Just a little handful. That's it. And some pork. And now you're ready to roll. You've just got to fold the sides in, make a nice little envelope. Like so. Next, I've got garlic chives. Hints of garlic, just for decoration. And you stick it at the end there, just like that. Really pretty. And from the bottom, you fold upwards. Upwards, with a bit of pressure, folding the sides in, nice and tight. You know, you want your rice paper nice and tight. You don't want it floppy and loose. So you need to put pressure down on it. And keep rolling up. Isn't that pretty? Bit of prawns, bit of herbs. You see all the vermicelli and the lettuce. Now, traditionally, you will have this dipping sauce. It'll be a homemade hoisin sauce, which is a soybean-based sauce. But because I'm in Fantit and they've got these amazing fish sauce factories, I'm going to dip it into my homemade fish sauce, which is a little bit sweet, bit of sugar, bit of vinegar. Now, I've made a big heap here, and you should too. If you're going to cook Vietnamese food, have some in your fridge already made. So you can dress it for salad dressings, rice pepper rolls, a bit of garlic, a bit of chilli, and of course a squeeze of lime to balance all the flavours out. So there's my soft rice pepper roll with prawns, pork and perilla leaf. A very short name of Vietnamese, it's just Rai Kun. Now these long-jawed anchovies were caught by my sister. They're brought here, they're quickly blanched in salt water and dried on these trays for one day. Now you would use these in salads to make a nice exo sauce or simply eaten as a crispy snack. 